Okay. So again, good morning. We're going to start off with a PowerPoint. It's basically a you know a quick overview, pretty general overview. Let me share this with you of the pilot program. Okay, can everyone see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, awesome. Now, this covers the online Canvas and the pilot program that's going to start next month. That's on can campus and on ITV. Okay. So HCCC diversity, equity, and inclusion employee training, again, online canvas and pilot on campus and ITV. So program overview, the training replaces the e Cornell DEI program. So as far as sustainability, I'm sure most of you or all of you have heard Uris and Natalia say that and in various meetings, uh, the training is created for all employees so whether it's adjunct uh, professors or tenure track professors or um, deans, VPs, et cetera, it's for everyone. Of course, the training program is free and we cover diversity, equity, inclusion, and justice, diversity of people and perspectives, equity and policy, practice and position, inclusion via power of voice and organizational culture and justice with equal rights and equitable opportunities. So we have the canvas shell that's there forever. So we have six modules equals six to 12 weeks. So if someone decides, let's say Nick decides to take it two years from now, he can complete it in six weeks or, or 12 weeks. He might complete it in nine weeks. Daryl might complete it in four weeks. Um, Burl might complete it in three weeks. It really doesn't matter as long as everyone completes it, you know, by 12 weeks. So basically, you know, close to a semester. Self-directed with videos and articles. Okay. With three digital badges. So those three digital badges, and I'll get more into that later on, but the first two are uh, milestone badges. And of course, the last one is the completion badge. So we'll have up to 20 participants roughly in, in the Canvas shell. And those will be offered in the summer, fall, and spring. So on campus and ITV pilot, this is for next month, starting October 2nd. So again, six modules, but it's three weeks. So what I did is what I took the information from the Canvas shell, and it's going to, pre going to be uh, presented for the pilot. Of course, it's didactic, group work, videos, um, three digital badges, same badges, up to 35 participants now. Uh, keep in mind that for ITV, if you want to do ITV, plan on, on doing that, uh, we're only going to take 10 people total for ITV. But if you want to do it in the classroom, uh, it will be 25 people. So the first module, Human Nature in the Workplace. Discussion threads went into, that's Canvas. Critical thinking questions, that's the pilot. Same questions, it's just critical thinking questions, same difference. Videos and articles. Module two, bias in the workplace. Again, discussion threads went into. And for uh, critical thinking questions in the pilot, videos and articles. Then there's a module two quiz, it's multiple choice. It's really easy. It's five questions. It comes from the articles and, and the videos. Microaggressions and harassment. Again, discussion threads. One to two questions, sometimes three questions. For Canvas, critical thinking questions, same questions. Videos and articles. And of course, the videos and articles are embedded in the Canvas shell. And in class, of course, you know, on, on ITV, if you're on ITV, you'll be able to see the videos displayed just like if you were in the classroom and the, the websites that I pull up. Module four, stereotypes and counter stereotypes. Same thing, critical thinking questions, discussion threads. You have a multiple choice 
module four quiz. That's the only, well, that's the second quiz. And we have two quizzes. Again, multiple choice, five questions. Questions come from the uh, information, the content that's provided in module four. Role of senior administration. Again, the discussion threads and critical thinking questions for the pilot, videos and articles. And other types of discrimination, other types of, of discrimination, that's uh, classism, um, xenophobia, transphobia, um, discrimination against employees who might be um, on the spectrum, hard of hearing employees and so on. Videos and articles, of course, and then the DEI plan, one to two pages. So you choose. For your DI plan, you choose a plan. Let's say if I were a participant in this and I decided, well, I want to work on education reform and I'm going to focus on high schools in Harlem in a section of Harlem, uh, what would I do? Okay, well, I would go to the city council. I might uh, launch a letter writing program. I might have three or four people canvas. I might have a total of 10 people, uh, you know, working on that. So. Again, letter writing campaign, going to city council, you know, mobilizing, making those connections. So it's be one to two pages. If that's just an example, just so you pick, um, you know, something that you're interested in, whether it's on racial justice or healthcare reform. So Lori, let's say, for example, if you decided to to uh, take this, you might want to consider your DI plan. You might, for example, healthcare. Okay, how would you go about doing that? Okay. Um, what would you want to do specifically in healthcare? Uh, lower income, um, people who are impoverished, uh, work on, you know, Medicaid, Medicare, stuff like that, um, you know, or just focusing on children. Does that make sense? So yes. you pick a topic. So, so you uh, pick a topic and then you work on it. And again, it's just one to two pages. So your badges, DI badge, your detective badge, that's post module two. So you get that after you complete module two, you pass the quiz. DI ally, that's after you complete module four. Your completion badge comes after your powerhouse badge, your final badge comes after you uh, finish your, well, mod six, the, the entire training. So again, we're taking Two modules per training, October 2nd, module one and two, October 9th, modules three and four, um, October 16th, modules five and six. So again, I'm just reiterating the fall 2023 20, workshops, two modules per week. It's an S building, room 214 from 10 to 1 and 10 to 1 you know we might finish before one o'clock but i have that i just want to give everyone enough time and give myself enough time i didn't want to rush the uh the content of course and um so that's i, I scheduled the, the rooms for 10 to 1. we might not finish we might not go into one o'clock okay so again spring 2024 canvas start date i'm guessing february First week of February, since um, faculty, as we know, usually don't come back until mid, late January. So I'm guessing February would be the launch date at the earliest for Canvas. And again, it's the same information. So I'm going to stop sharing here, and then I'm going to pull up the flyer that mock that Natalia provided. Just give me a second here.
Okay, can everyone see the flyer? Okay. I think this is the biggest I can I can make it. I can make it any bigger. Here it is. So in week one, specifically, and I like the fact that the Natalia, uh, you know, put this, you know, in more specific terms, uh, my um, PowerPoint, as you saw, was, you know, not extremely vague, but this is more, this is more uh, specific in terms of what the module content is. So module one, human nature in the workplace and covers the fundamental aspects of human behavior and psychology in a professional setting, gain insights into why individuals act the way they do and how this impacts the workplace. Module two, bias in the workplace examines the presence of bias, both implicit and explicit and discover strategies to recognize and address bias to promote fair decision-making and team collaboration. So second week, Microaggressions, Module 3, Microaggressions and Harassment, that helps learners to identify and combat microaggressions and harassment in the workplace, fostering a safer and more inclusive atmosphere in, for all employees. Module 4, Stereotypes and Counterstereotypes, delves into the world of stereotypes and counterstereotypes and explores these concepts that can shape perceptions, influence behavior, and be used to challenge preconceived notions. Final week. Modules five and six. Module five, the role of senior administration that aids in providing general understanding of the pivotal role that senior leadership plays in driving diversity and inclusion initiatives within an organization. Learn how their guidance and commitment can set the tone for a more inclusive workplace. And module six, developing a DI plan to fight discrimination, equips participants with the skills and knowledge needed to create that plan for reform. So now, now we're going to go into our question and answer session. I'm going to stop recording.